Hello. Welcome back to my channel. We have to learn to stop saying welcome back to my channel. Hey y'all, what's up? I'm glad you came over. Um, today is a Saturday evening and I'm just sitting in the house. So I'm gonna just have a little impromptu meal. Now, let me tell you about these sandwiches. It's a sandwich. This is a sandwich from a supermarket. There's a supermarket in my area called ShopRite. I think there's ShopRite's pretty much all over the place in the north. So, uh, they have the bangingest sandwiches. Like, they, it's a counter where they stand behind the counter and they make it just how you want it. It's not one of those sandwiches sitting down in the case that you pick out. So what I have today is I have a turkey and Swiss cheese. Look at that. I have a turkey and Swiss cheese and it has spinach on it. It has tomatoes and it has sweet peppers on it. And I'm gonna eat that with some Ruffles chips. This used to be one of my favorite chips, but I think it tastes kind of cardboardish now, but we'll see what it tastes like today. Maybe they improved it again. And then they gave me some pickles in this little container. And I'm gonna have some turkey hill lemonade with it. In my little D Serrano cup. You all saw this cup before in another video on my other channel. But they're, they're cute. I have two black ones and two white ones, and, and they're really cute. So anyway, there's a couple of things I wanted to talk about today. One thing I wanted to talk about was leaving Neverland. I haven't watched it yet. I'm going to watch it later on tonight. I have a little uh, 10 o'clock online party I'm going to first, and then I'm going to watch the movie after the little online party. So we're going to talk about that, and I want to see what y'all think. So first, let me just take a little good bite of this sandwich and see what it's tasting like. I think I'm going to taste the little inside part first. Doesn't look like it has a whole bunch of meat on it, does it? But then again, on this side, it does. I like a lot of meat on my sandwich. Okay, let me take my first bite. Mm. It's good, but I don't think I like the pepper. I'm gonna just take some of, oops, some of these peppers off. The peppers give it like a strange taste. I think it's whatever they soak the pepper in. I, I love pickles with my sandwiches. I love pickles with a lot of things. With my hamburger. Mmm. That's much better. Pickles make it taste even better. Open up these chips. Let's put my chips on the side. Chips taste banging again. All right, so before we talk about this Neverland thing, I want to show y'all something. I'm recording with my um, phone again, and it's because 
I actually got the new Canon Rebel T7i DSLR camera. This is what it looks like. I received this camera about two weeks ago. And this is what the camera is looking like. People talk about these cameras being heavy. Hmm, it's really not that heavy, but I can see you not trying to uh, vlog with it. I see it has a little space up here where you could put your flash. It has this uh, flip out screen. Let me see that flip out screen. Oh, you can't flip it out. <laughs> oh, here it is. Here's the flip out screen. Here's the lens cap. Oh, is this a lens cap? Anyway, like I said, I'm just doing the unboxing, so here it is. This is what it's looking like. Let me see, there's another thing in the box. Here's the battery. Oh, it has a camera strap. It comes with a camera strap. I guess this is the lens. I guess the lens will make it a little heavier. It's an 18 millimeter to 50, it's an 18 to 55 millimeter lens. And there's one more thing in this box. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, two more things. It comes with a 32 uh, gigabyte memory card and a rodeo mic. Yes, yes, yes. Just like just what I needed, a rodeo mic so that I could use it for my ASMR videos. So this is what you get in your Canon box. The battery. This, your instruction manual. And the strap. Pretty, pretty good. I can't wait to use it. Here's the little, the little thing that you put the battery in to charge it in the wall. And it also comes with a road mic that you sit on top of it. I'm sure you all seen these a million times. I just have to say this. I'm, I have poor vision. I can't see the little booklet, the little user, user manual. I can't really see it. So I watched this video that was a little over an hour long. And like the first, say, the first 40 minutes of it was just showing you regular photography. So I sat through that whole thing. And then when he got to the video part, he didn't even really tell anything for people who never, because I never used a DSLR. I was always recording with a camcorder. And he didn't really tell good enough, good enough information for people who never use a DSLR. So I don't really know how to use my camera. And I tried to look through other videos, but it's not really enough information. I might have some good information or a good video that really, um, talks in layman's terms on how to use your Canon T7i, leave something below, leave, leave the name of the video below and the person who made it. So I could go check it out and maybe I could learn how to use this for video mode. So I want to start making better quality videos. Okay, so now let's get to the thing, leaving Neverland. I haven't watched it yet, like I said, but they're saying that it's these guys who came out and they're getting ready to tell what really happened there. And they're still saying they was um, molested by Michael Jackson. And I thought that was over with. He's dead and gone. I thought it was over with. People who knew him and was very close to him, his family and celebrities and everybody said that he would never do anything like that. And see, this is the thing. Even if you're a celebrity 
and you come across this famous friend who's taking kids into his house, molesting them, are you really gonna just sit back and pretend it's not happening just because he's a celebrity? I know I wouldn't. I know it wouldn't be going down because I'll be the first one to run and tell somebody or call the authorities on this man. So I think it's still BS that people are still coming out, saying this stuff, and just like before, the kids that he supposedly molested before, their parents got paid off to throw it away, to not pursue it. Well, now these are grown men sitting here saying they was molested by Michael Jackson, and I think it's the same thing. I think if they just want the money, if you have any kind of spirituality in you and you kind of grew up with Michael Jackson, this is gonna sound weird to some people, but to some people it's not gonna sound weird. If you have any type of spirituality in you or you have any type of intuition or gifts or whatever, you can basically feel that Michael was not doing anything to these kids. To a lot of people, was it weird? But guess what? People are different. A lot of people do a lot of different weird things. Everybody is not the same. But when you're a creative, spiritual soul, you can see things, you can feel things, and sometimes you're different. Look at what his life was like. He had to be different. I'm sure a lot of people experience this. When you grow up and you know you you become an adult and you start hanging out with other adults, sometimes you don't even want to be bothered with people. But the fact that children are innocent and they can still have fun and everything, it's a whole different ball game dealing with kids or hanging out with kids. Now, I don't know how apt I would be to let my kids go stay at a grown man's house, but I likely would let my kids go and stay there with some form of supervision. And I believe that the whole thing is a scam about money. And I want y'all to comment below and let me know what you think. But I'm gonna watch the video. I mean, not the video. I'm gonna watch the movie tonight, the documentary. And I'm gonna see what I see and what I feel. And uh, then next time I come back, I'll just briefly go over what I saw and what I think. But I want you all to comment below and tell me what you think and if you watched the movie and what you thought about the movie and what your true feelings are. And I already know a lot of people is going to say he was molesting them and say bad things about him because when he died, I already went through that. When Michael Jackson died, I went through a, a real mourning period. I grew up with this boy since when I was a little kid, he was a little kid, you know? And at that time, we didn't have a whole bunch of people uh, representing us or people your own age representing you. You know, it was really great. The Jackson 5 was one of the greatest things that ever came about. And you know, they had a lot of problems just like any other family. But I want y'all to tell me your thoughts on this subject. All right, I'm gonna eat. Man, I got these peppers on here because I'm not liking them. I, and whatever they soaked them in, kind of um, made the whole sandwich taste different. But like I said, I like the pickles. You know what, a lot of creative people are spiritual and Michael Jackson was a very spiritual person. When you're a very spiritual person, you believe in karma. I'm not saying that spiritual people are perfect, but most spiritual people believe in karma. So you watch what you do a lot. For me watching a lot and lot of YouTube videos of people who knew him and videos of his interviews and little clips of this or that in his life, 
that that he wasn't really in front of the camera performing. What I got from it was, yeah, he was a little arrogant. He was a little bossy. How many Virgo males do you know that are not bosses? The Virgo men I know are bosses. for the sandwich for days and now like I said it's not really the taste I want because whatever they soak those peppers in it's just dripped on the sandwich did you ever have a sandwich with um fresh spinach on it instead of tomatoes you should try it I mean instead of lettuce especially iceberg lettuce this store they don't they don't give you any choice of lettuce actually on the sign on the sign on the wall it says you could get green leaf lettuce but no they just have that shredded um iceberg lettuce i'm not an iceberg girl so i got i started getting they'll give you uh fresh spinach and i started putting spinach on it and it's really good and i'm happy and i always get spinach on it See, I have this on, right? The weirdest occurrence. I have my laptop on my bed sometimes, and I'm leaning like this a lot to watch videos or do different things on my laptop. So, all of a sudden, I started getting like really bad pains in my neck over here. So I need a neck massage, and this was like for about three days. So finally yesterday, somebody came and massaged this side of my neck for me, and they massaged from around here to the back of my neck. But they didn't massage this side. And about 40 minutes later, all of a sudden, all these big welts formed on my neck on this side. So I didn't know what it was and I did the research and in the research it said I had an allergic reaction to something. So I keep asking this person, what did they have on their hands? What did they have on their hands? They're not responding to me. So I guess it was probably like their perfume or something, but it's really like big red whelps all over my neck. So I took some Benadryl because that's supposed to be for um, allergic reactions. It says allergies, but when I read it, it's like, oh, when you have a cold and the sniffles and stuff like that, but I don't know. It's an antihistamine, so you're supposed to take antihistamine when you have an allergic reaction. So I hope that it works. But that's why I have this scarf wrapped around my neck. I wasn't styling, y'all. I wasn't trying to style. Imagine that. Look at the colors and everything. <laughs> mm. 
I'm not gonna finish this time. Sometimes because of all the bread, it's hard to eat the whole sandwich and I usually eat a half and save the other half for later. Like, I'll eat a half for my lunch and a half for dinner and I think that's what I'm gonna do. Only because another Saturday night and I ain't got nobody. I got some money because I just stopped paying. The Saturday night song. I'm going to eat half of the sandwich. Go to that online party for about an hour. I'm so scared to watch Leaving Neverland. scared because I feel like I don't know what they're going to be saying and I feel like people are going to be lying and bringing up a whole bunch of bull crap but why are they doing that he's been dead for 10 years I still miss him if y'all miss Michael Jackson Share the love and tell me you miss Michael Jackson. I know I'm not the only one. Even if you look around YouTube, there's a lot of videos of different interviews and stuff with Michael Jackson and the whole comment section is just filled up with people still crying over Michael Jackson. They got memes coming out the side. One more bite, one more bite. I got one more bite. There is a lot of main names on here. of the pickle and then you have to take a bite of the potato chips and then it'll feel like you're at a patty party because every meal is a party every meal is a party One more thing. I got something new coming up for y'all. I'm going to try to do it weekly. And it's going to just be something a little different. It's still going to be my mukbangs, but it's going to be a little different. And sometimes I'm going to do it live. I'm finished here. I'm going to go get ready and go to that online party. And don't forget, let me know what you think about Neverland because by the time I put this video up, I'm going to already have seen it. So you can write whatever you want to write down there about it. Uh, let me know you have, what you think about the whole thing. And like I said, if you know a good source to show me how to use my camera from the very beginning if I never use a DSLR because it has all these little fancy buttons and stuff like I know some of them but I don't know all of them then let me know put that down below so I can look at it and once again 
Thank you so much for joining me and give me a big thumbs up. And don't forget to comment. And of course, please subscribe and click that bell so you can come so you can be notified of any content that I have that I uploaded. Thank you and goodbye. I love y'all. Deuces! Oh, yeah, the love for father and father.